This is where the global game of hide and seek ended. On death's door with COVID in Glasgow, police pounced to make an arrest, a moment they had waited years for. I don't have any doubt that it's not me. American authorities say Nicholas Rossi is the suspected rapist who faked his own death to escape sex charges. Is it the end of the road, sir? The alleged predator, who doctors suggest has no medical need for this wheelchair. Someone whose tattoos and fingerprints matched global police red alerts. Would you show us your arms? I've shown you. My arms. Yeah, your biceps. Yeah, I will show you. Okay, I am not getting into this conversation. Court rise. But now, minutes after branding this sheriff a disgrace to justice, the fugitive got one step closer to facing justice himself. He has, with medical professionals and in court, avoided questions about his childhood and upbringing. I conclude because that is a canvas on which he has not yet chosen to paint. Although he has asserted various psychiatric ailments which ultimately could not be established without the history that he has chosen not to share. I conclude that he is as dishonest and deceitful as he is evasive and manipulative. This has been an international spectacle, a case bogged down in deliberate delays, mainly because Rossi suggests he's a man called Arthur Knight, an Irish orphan who's never set foot in the United States. There have been outlandish suggestions that he was tattooed while unconscious in hospital. The court also hearing he's manipulative and aggressive. If he takes this to um, the European Court of Human Rights, because from what I understand, there are potentially issues around his health and whether he could be looked after in the American prisons. If he takes that issue further, then it could potentially be a number of years before this is actually resolved. As Rossi now cries conspiracy and collusion, his wife has been by his side through it all. Miranda, the evidence is that there is no medical need for your husband to have a wheelchair. He's faking it, isn't he? Are you covering for him? There are rarely cases as bizarre as this. As another chapter closes here, this court has found itself once again separating fact from fiction. And the drama may not be over yet, as English police now make moves to interview this man over a historic rape allegation in Essex. Connor Gillis, Sky News, Edinburgh.